Did anybody else in the world even know about this game? Because I didn't even hear about it. I love tower defense games, and I used to play with toys. You know, now I just collect one or two a year, and then look at them, wonder why I spend so much fucking money. Anyway, this game came out of nowhere, and I gotta say, it's kind of a bit of a surprise. A good one, a bad one? Well, I'm gonna tell you if Ubisoft's newest arcane game is worth your time. Which part no man ain't got time to your head? The graphics and look give me a couple little chuckles. Between them looking like these toy figures or eagle toys flying around or having the toy tanks move like toy tanks without the wheels moving much, it's pretty funny. Overall, the design and look plus the actual level design and them actually being different is pretty fun and above what I was actually expecting. The upgrades are pretty sweet. Every time you beat a level or even just earn some extra cash, you can go in to get these like hero boxes and inside can name new weapons, upgrades, and even heroes themselves. From G.I. Joe to Assassin's Creed, you'll get to collect some of your favorite heroes of all time and use them in battle. Also, the gameplay is tower defense with a bit of a twist. You build defenses around your bases to protect them, as always. But similar to killing all orcs, you get a part of the action there. From taking over turns to shooting rockets to going on foot as a hero, you actually be in the battle fighting alongside your defenses. This can change the title of the battles pretty quickly, and it's just a fun little feature that the game definitely needed. Also, and this is a big one, the game progressively gets tougher. You remember those good old days when you're playing a game and the more you got into it and the further you got, it actually got harder because, you know, it made sense that way? Yeah, instead of just putting spikes of difficulty out of fucking nowhere for making the game so easy that you just kind of fall asleep playing it the game offers a challenge and that is good because the more you play the more challenging you want it to be because you're getting better no way to speed up enemy movements sometimes i'm just sitting around waiting a good minute or two for the army to reach my damn defenses when you create a tower defense game the first thing you need to do is put up a damn speed up feature also, there's no quick save, another feature that is needed in any game like this because some of the maps can take an hour. We always need a quick save because a lot of the times, not all of us have an hour, an hour and a half to play the game, so come on. Really, overall though, not much is wrong with this game. It's really solid fun. Like I said, maps can be a bit too long, leaving big gaps of action sometimes. I also really need a quick save a few times. Still, it was a lot of fun to play, and the toy figures looked really fun, and I love that portion of the game. Um, one of the more recent arcade games I actually had fun with, so I'm going to have to give this one a nice 8 out of 10, and it's a great little game that you should pick up if you're bored, which I know a lot of you gamers are this season, and check it out if you like tower defense and you want to get your hands a little dirty and blow up some motherfucking toys. Yeah! Okay, I'm going to go. Bye.